Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we're gonna do something kind of interesting. I think you guys wanna know all my hacks, what I do with my hair and all of that. So at the moment, my hair is flat till my scalp and there's not really any length because I just did a twist out and if you guys didn't see that video make sure you check it out it's my complete wash day routine so you can see what product I used and the definition is really I mean today I'm gonna tell you what I do to stretch my hair because I normally don't wear my hair in this state I like me some length if you guys have any questions, make sure to comment down below and let me know what you guys want me to try out, other stretching methods, and I'll be happy to film the videos for you all. So I'm just trying to make this a little bit longer and less flat. So if you guys want to see what happens or what I do, don't click off. I see you. Stay because we're a big happy family we love all things great and we love us some tips first thing I always do is section my hair I feel like I need to do it in full you see you don't want to ruin your twist so just be careful okay it doesn't have to be perfect parts okay so I put this part up because we're gonna work with that later all you're gonna need is a lot of hair ties okay I have six here so that makes eight because I don't have enough hair ties so I have to use scrunchies okay so this side we're gonna part in in half and just clip that away so what we're gonna do is we're gonna band our hair okay so the banding method is a heatless method it's the easiest method I prefer it because I don't use heat on my hair too often, so this is a great method for me personally. So you're gonna take your roots, take your first hair tie, okay, and then just grab tightly at your roots, obviously not too tight. You wanna wrap that twice at your roots, and then just work your way down. So you'll stretch the hair tie until you get to a good point until it can't wrap around your hair anymore okay so the reason I'm using so many hair ties is because I don't like this I need my hair to be stretched we're gonna go in with another hair tie and just repeat that as you're going down make sure you're stretching or pulling your hair okay and that's where I stop I like to keep my curls intact so that's our first section done. Okay, so you can see that's your banding method. And let's do the next one. It fell in the pot. Do the same thing, we wanna get our roots, okay? Tie it twice at your root so that it stays in place and work your way down. Okay, so my hair tie can't go anymore. So now we use a, another one. So two bands. Now we're gonna do the same thing to this side. sections each with two ties I mean if you have shorter hair obviously you will need two ties on each section so just keep that in mind if you have longer hair you might need more ties if you have medium hair length you might need two three who knows so now I'm gonna show you guys the little trick okay we're gonna need some bobby pins okay bobby pins since I have four sections I'm just gonna need four so we'll get four bobby pins so what I'm first gonna do, I'm gonna stretch this 
and I'm gonna wrap it all the way here, okay? And then I'm gonna pin it down. This will just allow my hair to stay in its stretched position. Twist the ends just a bit and take it to the other side and pin it down. We want our ends, okay? And then I'm gonna take it all the way back. Okay, so this is how we're gonna look, okay? So this style you can literally sleep in as well. So if you wanna stretch your hair overnight, you can always sleep like this. But obviously with your silk pillowcase or your satin bonnet or silk bonnet, you can throw it over and you're ready to sleep. Hair protected, bands still intact. Sleep comfortably like nothing's hurting me. So that's an option or like me, I normally just wait 30 minutes. Since we're not going to sleep with this overnight, I am going to lay my edges while I wait. So we're going to use a bit of eco. I prefer eco because it, it just lays my hair so good. My just laid okay I'm gonna see you guys in 30 minutes and I'm back so let's undo these and see how long this hair is so I'll start off with the back section You want to be careful with unraveling these bands so you don't cause any frizz. What I like to do is just take my white tooth comb or a pick or anything just to stretch my roots a bit. So I don't go to my ends as always because we don't want to ruin that curl pattern to give more volume, you know. These results speak for themselves, okay? Okay, that's all I need to say. Like, I just, I just love it. Like, there's no dent in my hair because of the bands. Wow. Wow. The length is here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And my little hack for lengthening your hair, okay? Um, I really hope you guys try this out like a lot of people do banding methods anyway But I hope you guys include the bobby pins, you know to enhance your results, okay? I feel like that's the trick to my banding method. So yeah, please let me know what videos you guys want to see from me next and I'll be happy to film them Don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye